I don't have that great of a home life. I'm currently homeless. I'm living in a shelter. But I think that motivates me to do the work I do. I want a better life, you know. I want a home. I want to show other people that even though you're going through something bad, if you do, there's a brighter side to everything. It's an honor to be here today uh, to celebrate uh, and speak so highly of Samantha Garvey. Uh, Sam has been in the program for three years. She is a senior now and uh, Samantha has studied uh, aquatic ecosystems for three years that she's been in the program. Grella called me up, my research teacher, and she was acting all weird over the phone. I didn't understand what was going on. Then she goes, Sammy, you're an Intel semifinalist. And I just started crying. I was like, oh my god, this is, this is amazing. This is, you know, you work so hard. And just, not just the working hard part, but to have other people acknowledge your research is amazing. This is like going to the Super Bowl. Uh, you know, she's one of 300 individuals who, uh, who have actually taken the time to explore their own independent research. This is novel. You know, this is, this is, this is award-winning in the sense that she is named one of 300 students in all of the United States. I collected mussels from different elevations in a salt marsh, and I looked at how, how those predation rates uh, affected mussels, and then I saw that mussels were, who were in lower elevations where predation was the greatest, they exhibited heavier and denser, thicker shells. And then I took this idea and I introduced it into the lab setting, and I exposed um, the same mussels to an invasive species, Hemigrapsis sanguineus, the Asian shore crab. At the end of the two months, I saw that the mussels uh, did exhibit heavier shells, just like those in the marsh. It's great, you know, because you always want to please your parents, no matter who you are. You want to see your parents happy. So it's nice that I can make them happy in this way, you know. I may not have a house for them, but at least I'm doing well in school.